Welcome to Sandy Tech. Let's take a look at how to use Air Command for your Note 5. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the S Pen and it's going to invoke my Air Command by default. I can use Action Memo, Smart Select, Screen Write, and S Note, add in shortcuts, and even view the settings. Now we went over the settings for Air Command in our S Pen video, so go ahead and check that out in the top right hand corner to be able to view that. I'm just going to quickly jump into the apps. Action Memo will go ahead and let me write down a quick memo, jot down whatever sort of text I'm looking for, or draw a note, whatever I'm looking to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and start writing. Now don't mind the horrible handwriting, but the pen is actually very accurate. And as I go ahead and press down harder, it makes thicker lines. If I quickly swipe, it makes a thin line. I can tap this plus button to add and just quickly save it to my S notes. And now I have a new blank one so I can go ahead and draw. I'll draw a little house like I was a fourth grader again. And so now I've got that house. I can tap more in the top right hand corner to link this to an action, to minimize it, to pin this note to the home screen, to set a reminder, edit as the S note file, and even change the background color. I'm going to change the color because this will come in handy later on. I'll go ahead and tap save, and now it's been saved as an action memo in S note. So now if I open up action memo again, tap on list, it's going to show me all of the action notes that I've saved. Tap on action memos, I can sort by actions, notes, or favorites, and then if I tap on search, I can go ahead and search by color, and so that way I can see all the different background colors by my notes. So that's really neat, really comes in handy. Tap on the bottom right hand corner to quickly make another note. So now if I come back, I'm going to go ahead and click on the S pen and it's going to open up my air command. I can choose smart select. This is going to be used for making screenshots. I can choose from a rectangle, a lasso, an oval, and then once I create those different shapes, I can use auto shape. So notice as I highlight the pen over the screen, I have a rectangle letting me know. I just tap and I'm going to draw across the screen and this is going to allow me to create a screenshot and then I can go ahead and annotate it so I can write on it and I can go ahead and tap right and we'll go ahead and write. Now that I've done that, I can save my scrapbook, save into my gallery, even use the eraser to erase and then I can go ahead and share what I've done. So we'll go ahead and come back out, we'll discard that and now I can go ahead and use just this regular rectangle and share it, save it to my scrapbook, or save it to a gallery. And if I choose any one of the other shapes, such as the lasso, this allows me to create a custom shape. The oval will allow me to do an oval or circle, as you see here. And then auto shape will kind of auto correct it to what I'm trying to look for and try and base that shape upon what I'm actually needing instead of what I see. So I can add a remove and then undo. So come back into Air Command. Now we can actually do a screen write. This will quickly take a screenshot of what I see and allow me to go ahead and write on that screenshot and then save it out. And in this, if I tap on the pen, in any one of these options actually, I can change different settings and use pencils, pens, highlighters, markers, even paint brushes, and then select the thickness and even the color of what I'm writing with. Now in this one, we're gonna go ahead and come back in, we'll discard it. I'm gonna actually come to a web page. So here I am at State of Text website. I'll scroll all the way up to the top. I'm going to open up Air Command, and then we're going to do a screen write again. So screen write, and now let's take that screenshot. But notice now I have another option in the bottom of the screen. I have scroll capture. This is actually going to scroll down the website and continually capture a nice long screenshot. So you see up in the top right hand corner, I get a preview of how long this screenshot is actually going to be. As I continually tap capture more, notice it captures more of the screenshot. When I'm ready to, all I need to do is tap done, and it's going to save that nice long screenshot for me and allow me to go ahead and mark this up. So this is great if you're dealing with like web design or you're trying to do different things where you need a long area to actually mark things up. You can see I'm continually scrolling down on the screenshot and marking up and annotating different things. So that's really cool in that screen right, and then I can share this, save it, and go ahead and even erase and undo different options that I did. Now the last one in Air Command is going to be the S Note. 
tap in there, and this is going to be the S note. You see where I've saved all my action memos. I can see any notes that I've added. I can quickly add a note by tapping the plus button. And you see here, it's going to allow me to go ahead and do different drawings. I can add in text, and this will allow me to go ahead. I can use the keyboard just as I regularly would with the pen, or I can just come back into the pen and start writing things down and go ahead and do that. So that's a real quick S note. I can come back into the notes here. We can view favorites. I can add things to my favorites and I can just view all. So it's going to categorize everything based upon what I've been doing. So if I'd saved any of those screenshots or screen writes down in here, they would have been in those categories as well. So that is an overview of how to use air command with the S pen on your note five. For more note five tips, be sure and visit stateoftech.net.